What's up everybody? I'm Jason, and in today's video I'm kicking off an extended series discussing Canon's EOS R series of cameras, the EOS R5 specifically, but not exclusively, and using the EOS R5 as a launching point to segue into a variety area of areas in photography, videography, and the camera industry in general. Now, I know earlier this year, when Canon first started announcing the EOS R5, I posted a number of videos uh, talking about it, posing, presuming specs, and so on and so forth. Now, just under four weeks ago, at the time of recording this, Canon officially announced the camera, and it started shipping a mere three weeks after that. And so with all the excitement that I had going into this uh, originally, I I've been really quiet about the camera since then. So the reason for my silence on this has been simple. I pre-ordered an R5 early in the morning on the 9th of July, uh, when pre-orders, I think, were just, open, uh, just opening, or shortly thereafter. And I was hoping that I got in early enough that my camera would be uh, in the first shipments to go out, so I wouldn't have to wait for second allotments or anything like that to go to the retailer. Unfortunately for me, uh, the 29th has come and gone, and I don't have a camera. Instead, I do have a lovely email telling me that my camera and the batteries I ordered are back-ordered. Now, I had considered just working on other stuff until my camera actually shipped. I kind of expected this, to be honest, in the first place. I really did expect, after seeing the specs that Canon put out for the R5, that this was going to be a repeat of the 5D Mark II. That is, demand vastly outstrips supply, and regardless of pandemic or not, and there would be a perpetual shortage of cameras for months after the initial release. Now, fortunately for me personally, I can afford to be patient about this. Thanks, or no thanks as it was, to the global pandemic that's going on, I've had to cancel all of my travel plans for this year and most of next. And that's where I really need to focus the camera and putting it to its actual use. So, for me, if my camera ships next week, you know, or in the first shipment, that would have been awesome or will, would be awesome. But if I end up having to wait a couple of months, well, I can live with that too. And currently, it seems like waiting a couple of months may just be what the case ends up being. Uh, though honestly, many of the photo news and rumor sites have been so focused on pushing out every tidbit they get as fast as possible. And citation, maintaining citations and sources is kind of gone out the window that the entire situation is somewhat confusing. I can't tell what's actual fact, what the real sources are, or that people aren't just trolling other people with in false information. That said, I'm not going to go off into the weeds a rant about journalistic integrity these days. I'm just going to offer up a simple data point regarding my situation in hopes that it may shed some light or help others that you know have ordered or pre-ordered a camera. So. I pre-ordered an EOS R5, uh, a BGR10 battery grip, the control ring mount adapter, and three extra LP E6 NH batteries at 9 a.m., plus or minus a couple minutes, on July 9th through B&H Photo in New York City. As things currently stand at the time I'm recording this, which is early in the morning on August 2nd, this is what's happened. So my mount adapter was in stock when I pre-ordered the camera, and B&H shipped that out a couple of days later, so I already have that. Though I clearly wasn't the only one working on the thought process of getting the R5, an R, the R5 a mount adapter and using my EF lenses. So at least this is as of the end of the day on August 1st, this is the situation that I'm seeing with mount adapters on B&H's site. The $99 mount adapter is, without control ring or anything like that is out of stock and expected to be back in stock in four to six weeks. The $199 control ring mount adapter, like I have, is simply back ordered with no restocking estimate provided. The $299 drop-in filter mount adapter with the circular polarizer is or was currently in stock. And finally, the 
uh, dollar drop-in filter mount adapter with the variable ND filter was out of stock but expected to be back in stock in 7 to 14 days. As for my battery grip, somehow my battery grip or my order went in early enough that my battery grip actually shipped on the 29th and was delivered on August 1st. So I have that in my possession too, leaving me with the odd situation of having a battery grip and a mount adapter but no camera to put between the two of them. And so, yeah. Now, as of August 1st, my camera and batteries are simply listed as back order with no uh, back ordered with no estimate ava availability. Um, and as an aside, I kind of wish my batteries had shipped because even if I didn't have the camera uh, or were available, uh, because even if I didn't have the R5, I could at least use the batteries in my 5D Mark IV and get a little bit more runtime, hopefully, in my recordings. So anyway, with that said, my plan is to post a comment to this video on my camera and battery ship. My, the idea is, is that for anyone who's ordered from B&H and did so around 9 a.m. or in the morning on launch day, you might be able to glean some idea of when or where or how soon your stuff might start shipping. Now, of course, you might also just get an email from them telling you that your cameras and batteries have shipped, or for that matter, telling you uh, an estimated date when you could expect them to ship. Uh, so this all might just be pointless. So with that said, I'm going to wrap up this video here so I can go off and get started on the next one and stop beating my head on the wall about the frustrating things that I was going to talk about in this one. As always, like this if you liked it, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next time.